Now we will uh, start doing all our custom geometry to make the taper threads. I'm going to go delete the fade interfaces to make sure the, the solid we got to start making uh, custom threads here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is probably change the background to a color that <clears throat> Okay, let's sketch. Okay, um, so again, for a custom thread, the, the taper angle, inclusive taper angle that you define or how, uh, based on your uh, preference, uh, based on the function of the part that you're designing, but uh, for a standard threads, for a normal threads NPT, uh, it's going to start from um, 116, 27, 18, 27, and go on from there. Um, so that's a standard. It's defined by three quarter inch per foot for a one inch uh, 0 0.065. So I'm going to draw. Uh, initially, we're going to start with the geometry, uh, trying to simulate the NPD thread. Let's start from here. Let's do. Uh, Okay, let's we can leave it as main make a counter board. Okay, so four hundred is a starting point of your um, the taper threads. Uh, since it's defined as a three quarter inch per foot for a one inch, it's going to be. We get a construction line. And uh, give it a distance of one inch. So now the line we're going to draw So for one inch, the distance of the taper thread should be 60,000, 0 0.0625 uh, less than uh, this distance for one inch, right? Based on a three quarter inch per foot, if it's uh, for a one inch, what's the difference between the starting diameter and the ending diameter? It's going to be minus 0 0.0625. So 0.400 minus 0 0.0625. The best way to check uh, check it out. Picking up the right point. You can always check it out by the angular dimension. So it's going to be a uh, 1.788 is the right number.
So let's find out that. Uh, 400 minus 0 0.069. Point yeah, so that's point zero three one is the difference for one inch on the radial. So for uh, now we get uh, for a one foot alpha one inch, it's going to be point zero six two five on the diameter and three quarter inch per foot. So the, let's we are uh, make sure, making sure that for uh, the taper is a one point seven eight eight is the angle. So the the difference between the the starting. Uh, uh, diameter on the uh, ending diameter on the taper. So obviously we don't want to, de uh, to go and uh, make a thread that deep, one inch deep. Uh, for uh, NPD threads, even if you have a half inch deep, that's enough taper in there to make sure that the mating threads are sealed in tight. Uh, so let's um, we gonna make it up to the distance of let's say let's go from here. Okay, let's go and start trimming. Okay, now let's do that. Counterbore over there. Sketch. Let's do all the sketch and subtract it out. So if you see the cylinder, the counter is a cylinder. Now you got that the taper surface for our taper threads. Okay, now we'll uh, create the tools to go and uh, kind of do all these uh, features. Now obviously you need to start selecting the terminal tool. Let's start from the terminal. You know one thing you'll be uh, thinking about uh, why is the NX not giving you an option of a uh, terminal showing up with all the teeth if it's a multi tooth or a single tooth uh, terminal. You can see it in the graphics but uh, that's the way it is. It won't show the teeth in the, the graphics but if you can make uh, your own farm tool you can um, get the tool from the vendor and you can draw your sketch make it a model and store it in NX in the, the toolpath object. You can able to see in the graphics with the uh, tool with all the toolpath. Uh, so the effective diameter is going to be uh, say 300 thousands. Neck diameter is going to be 15. Make sure that uh, the the difference between the third height is uh, less than uh, the neck clearance. Uh, length is going to be uh, zero point. So it's a multi tooth cutter. So for a pitch, uh, one eight. 17 if it's going to be uh that's what we're going to go with one eight seventeen as uh, one eight seventeen of npt <clears throat> so one by Let's have the tool select. Let's 
Thank you very much. Thank you very We'll go with the hole making so we can able to drill and uh, hole mill the helical uh, safe of that uh, both the counter bore and the uh, mill right start with uh, drilling. Go and pick the geometry for the drilling. Okay, so we can pick up some different feature types to make sure the clean uh, plane everything. Make sure it, all the uh, non-cutting moves are set right. So the whole meeting. Let's start uh, from the counter bowl. Make sure that I'm going to continue. Let's do the ramp angle of uh, the circular. Okay, that's fine. We'll do a uh, ramp angle. Like Okay, let's do that. 